10% of the UK population has this condition, but yet only 3% is ever diagnosed. It's something actually that I have myself. What I'm talking about here is Gilbert syndrome. This is where there's a defect with a particular gene, the UGT1A1, and that stops you from being able to utilize and break down fat as effectively as you should. Now, this typically shows up on blood work with high bilirubin, and usually it's almost breaching on the lines of jaundice from time to time with certain individuals. Now, what that actually means is one, you're gonna have a harder time breaking down fats, but number two, your phase two detoxification system isn't going to be working as good as what it should be. And what I'm particularly talking about here is something called glucuronidation. And this is a way that we can bind glucuric acid onto toxins, used hormones, or even medication, and that enables us to pass them out of our body. But that pathway isn't working as effectively as it should. So if you do have very high levels of bilirubin, if you have Gilberts, one thing you have to do is support bile, and that could be with Tudka, or maybe ox bile, or bitter vegetables. And the second thing what we could consider here is implementing things like calcium d to support effective glucuronidation.